Hello and welcome back to another Budget and Legit video. We have Sean with us today who is going to help us strip this engine below and hopefully he might smile for once. He's smiling. And uh, we're going to strip this um, Corolla video and we, video? Engine. Engine even. And we're going to see why it's seized. Well, Sean is going to strip it. Sorted. Right, everybody, what do you think's wrong with it? The first thing we're going to do is just quickly whip off the rocker cover. So I'm going to get Sean to do that to see if we can see anything obvious from uh, the top. I've told him he needs to be very careful with the engine because obviously we don't want to destroy it. It's supposed to jump. Boom! Oh, well, actually, the chain, wow. That, that's what I was not expecting, people. The chain has snapped. That's, uh, but I wonder what happened first. Did the chain snap? Right, that's not what I was expecting. You don't normally take a chain off with a hammer and move the sprocket like I just did, by the way. But yeah, chain completely snapped. Let's um, whip off the cover. Right, we'll just hold that engine for a second. We'll just get this set up a lot better. <laughs> That's what you told it. We'll just get this set up a lot better and then we'll uh, continue. Right, so we're gonna get Sean to whip off everything so we can see what's going on. So the dog can see the rabbit. just completely wedged the old runner it's all ah, wedged inside there take off that should be 12 mil it dug into the runner before it decided to go That's completely been turned around and broke. So the ignition timing. is completely gone. Just hold the engine a second. See if we can just, is it turning? The Woodworth key's in the way. Anyway, I don't think we really need that off, or do we? 
There we go. You can see that got all pushed to the side. That sprocket should move. So the engine wasn't seized in the sense of like you would imagine, like I was kind of thinking it was. So that, I'm trying to get this out. There we go. So the chain doesn't really, ah, there's a lot of movement there, but yeah. What we're gonna do now is we'll whip off the head and we'll see what damage is done to the head. Why did the chain break? The engine is not seized by the way, but maybe it was just lack of maintenance and the belt, I don't know, we're gonna find out. But the bottom of the engine did turn when I turned the crankshaft, so, or when I turned the flywheel. So the engine isn't seized in that sense. But what damage is done to the valves and stuff like that, we will soon find out. Right, you might not be able to see this, but as I put my spanner, or screw, screwdriver even, where the um, head bolts are, look at the gunk that's coming out. So this is lack of oil changes, and all this gunk, and I reckon it's just basically starved the, uh, starved the chain of oil, and most probably snapped the chain overheated something along them lines that's what i'm guessing at the minute so you can just see there's just loads and loads of gunk so let's get uh, this off and we'll see what the valves look like he's just clearing all the gunk out of all the uh, head bolts and then we'll uh, whip it off and we'll see we had slight technical difficulties <laughs> we got the bolt off in the end it completely rounded I tried everything so it was just quicker to cut the friggin thing off all right let's see if we can get this head off have the engine shot I'm not gonna take this off in any nice way now I don't know if we've got anything else attached to it feels like we do Anything around there? No, that's not attached to it. Oh, hold on, is that connected to the. Yeah, take that off. 12 mil, I'd say. And I really took half my thumb off as well on this fucking thing. Alright, lift this up for me. What 
this stuff in it now. Grab it. Oh, I know what it is. It's the stud, of course. The stud we couldn't get out. Now, just let it. Oh, well, we've got at least two bent valves. We can see we've got at least two bent valves there. So the timing belt did break, or the timing chain broke before the engine seized, even though the engine isn't seized, because we can actually turn it. The engine turns lovely, as you can see. The uh, timing chain broke, again, because of lack of maintenance, but the engine didn't actually seize. So you can even see also where the valve smash the pistons. Okay, you can see two valves bent there and you can actually see two valves bent there as well. So we've got four valves bent and you can see, well, I'll let Sean explain. So the timing chain snapped, which caused the engine to come out of time. As the pistons to come out, come up and hit the valve, it bends the valves and these ones. And then they're bent too. Now it feels really grungy in here. Um, yeah, again, just bad oil and stuff. This is this is our problem here, but it feels really, really bad inside the pump. So the ain't the chain just starved of oil. Let's see what the pickup looks like. Right, moment of truth. Yep. Just as I thought, oil pickup absolutely completely and utterly blocked wow just look at that let me just <laughs> wow there is lots and lots look at that Wow, it is absolutely, completely and utterly caked in there. Look at it. So that's it, just as I thought. Oil pickup clogged, no oil going to the chain. No oil going anywhere, but obviously the chain went before anything else. That was the weakest link in the system and that what happened. So oil pickup blocked due to not servicing it regularly, all that stuff basically destroyed this engine. So it really does go to show service your engine regularly, regularly even. There we go, look at that. Right, so that's it really. As you can see, we have a snap chain here and uh, then Sean has a bent valve and a straight valve. So you can actually see the difference between a bent valve and a straight valve. Now one's an inlet, one's an exhaust, but it doesn't matter. It's just showing you the thing. And obviously I ripped off half my thumb. All good. And I know what people are going to say. Oh, well, why don't you just prepare the engine? It's cheaper than replacing it. As you'll see from the video up here, you're just fucking idiots, people, because you just you have to look at the big picture. You can see up here now that the actual, um, the for the VVTi, um, solenoid valve and everything you can see it's just all completely broken so it would needed new valves new head new everything. it's just cheaper to buy and, and replace the engine so that's why we did it i must admit i did think it was seized but the damage is already done anyway so there it is i wasn't expecting a broken chain um well maybe a broken chain but a seized engine first and as we can see the engine didn't seize it was the chain and which made everything go bang so there we go so that's it Bye now. As you can see, he watches all my videos. Yeah. Um. All right, we've got all day. Don't look on your phone. 
Take YouTube off there. Don't type in. Hey, hello. Anyway, that's it. So look, hope it helps. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget. Get your hands dirty. Yay. Oh, okay. See you for the next one. Sorted.